Good morning and welcome to this special recorded briefing with the Jerusalem Press Club. I am Jonathan Beck, Director of Content. This call is being recorded on the morning of Monday, July 28, 2024. Just as the news were discussing possibilities for an Israeli military response to a Hezbollah missile on Saturday that killed 13 children and wounded scores of others, multiple Israeli media outlets published reports of a new weapon in the hands of Hezbollah. Former Navy Commander Eyal Pinko, today a lecturer at Bar Ilan University's Begin Sadat Center for Strategic Studies, has 12 years of experience behind him as a senior weapons systems engineer. Good morning, Dr. Pinko, and thank you for joining us at such short notice. Good morning. So we've read reports in the newspapers yesterday, several Israeli newspapers, about a new electromagnetic uh, weapon that Hezbollah purportedly has. Uh, first of all, setting aside um, the newsworthiness of the reports, since if they have this, they've had this for a while, can you explain to us what is special about this weapon and what it means? Yeah, <clears throat> first, as you said, it's a, it's a very old news. Hezbollah and Iran are working on the HPM, high power microwave uh, weapon for at least a, a decade uh, and uh, achieved uh, based on Chinese and Russian probably uh, technologies achieved those, cap those capabilities. Uh, the main capability of this weapon that is uh, uh, aimed to shut down electronic systems. That's the main purpose of the weapon. It's ex being exploded uh, something like 1000 meters above ground level and create a huge uh, a current, a huge uh, a pulse, which uh, just burn all uh, circuits and digital uh, instruments, like computers, cellular phones, etc. This is the this is without any uh, going into technical details. Except of that, uh, this is a strategic weapons because once you uh, fire it, you shut down all the the uh, advisory uh, uh, systems, as radars, communication systems. And then you can penetrate to do things that you want much easier, like a missile attack or any kind of infantry or tanks attack. So essentially, this weapon is, is a prelude to a, um, a traditional um, weapon with, with um, uh, you know, with dynamite or whatever. Now, does this weapon, when it detonates, does it create a, a blast of its own or is there no physical damage to injuries to people and just to equipment? Uh, depends uh, on the height uh, which is uh, which the bomb explodes and uh, uh, how many explosives over there. Uh, so basically, it does it does nothing to human beings unless they are in nearby, and then it can rip all the uh, internal organs. But usually, ma mainly, it will, it's not uh, meant to cause any damage to human beings. Only for uh, digital systems, radars, communication, uh, etc. Okay, um, is this um, technology unique to, you, you mentioned China and other countries, I'm assuming Western countries have similar weapons? Does Israel have these weapons or are we you know, expected to think maybe Israel has weapons like, like this? Uh, it's, it's not a new weapon and they are not the only one to, uh, to have it. Uh, this uh, weapon was uh, revealed after uh, the Second World War and many countries as the, the US, China, Russia, Iran possess the, those capabilities. Regarding Israel, I cannot uh, comment uh, if Israel has it or, or not. Okay, thank you for this. Uh, now, finally, do we have any idea of how many such armaments Hezbollah has in its hands? And finally, uh, the last question is, what, what is the likelihood of them actually using it in a war against Israel? Uh, as I recall, we don't have any uh, idea, maybe today the intelligence has, but in, based on open sources, uh, we don't know how many uh, weapons uh, they possess and from which types, which means how big it is, the warhead that they are possessed. And secondly, uh, I believe that if they possess it, this is uh, part of the doctrine. It's uh, relevant to use and it can be used, uh, of course, by them. Okay, Dr. Pinko, uh, thank you very much for this. I will just comment that you have a blurred background because I caught you in between flights and I thank you very much for giving us your time um, at the airport to, to give us uh, uh, this explanation. Uh, thank you very much for this conversation, Dr. Pinko. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Thanks.